Hi, Sophie. <laughs> I thought it would be really cool to make a video about what, <laughs> hi Sophie. Thought it would be really cool to make a video on what are healthy treats that you can give your chickens. So I'm gonna just go over 10 things. I'm gonna try not to go too deep into detail. I don't wanna make this video too long, but I thought this might be something that some of our viewers might want to learn. I wanted to let you guys know today's video is sponsored by Grub Terra, and I will leave a link down to them down below and I'll discuss them more later on, but I'm gonna go ahead and get to the 10 uh, healthy treats for your chickens. Hi, Sophie. <laughs> so before I start listing off the uh, 10 healthy treats that you can give to chickens, I want to preface this by saying that these are intended to be treats, not their main diet. And some of the stuff you can feed a lot, but some of it, <laughs> sorry, my goat's trying to eat my hair, uh, but some of it you want to limit. It is a treat. You can, you don't need to do it in excess. A little bit each day is great for them. Sophie, are, are you just, you just want to be part of, part of this, everything? <laughs> Goats are so nosy. <laughs> so the first healthy treat that I love to give to our chickens is actually black oil sunflower seeds. Now, it is high in, what Sophie, hi honey. <laughs> hi baby. Now, black oil sunflower seeds, they are high in fat, so of course you do want to give it in moderation. You never want to give more than a third of the chicken's weight in treats. Usually I'll toss like a couple handfuls out to my flock and they kind of go pecking at it. Uh, some of the benefits, of course, are once you start that after a while, you'll notice uh, an improvement in their feathers. They might be shinier, they might be fuller, as well as uh, potentially an increase in egg production or quality. Now, another thing that is beneficial for with sunflower seeds is if you are up north where it gets really, really cold, is if, if you feed them to your chickens in the fall or winter, it will add a little bit of fat to them, but it will help them stay warm, warmer during those colder months. The next treat is a very common one that people probably know as a more common treat to give chickens, and that is corn. You can give it to them whole or cracked, it doesn't really matter, but I will say that I don't typically give my chickens corn in the summer as it is it is good for creating energy and heat for the chickens for winter so while sunflower seeds I give them to them all year round corn I usually if I do give them the corn I usually save it as a treat for more closer to the fall and winter time to give them uh, some extra warmth or, or like to kind of give them some extra calories in the winter another time that you might see corn being used is during a molt when they need extra calories to help them offset all the energy that they are putting into uh, producing new feathers so that would be another potential use for corn of course pretty much any fruit that you can get is good for chickens i am going to actually talk about watermelon so watermelon is actually an exceptional treat to give to your chickens, watermelon and cucumbers especially. I would say that watermelon and cucumber is especially beneficial to give to them in the summertime when it's hot and they might be a little dehydrated or they just need that little extra hydration. Watermelon and cucumber are exceptional for that for chickens and they're just, they're good all around as far as, far as like what they have in them. Squash is an excellent treat for your chickens as well. I'm gonna go ahead and say pumpkins. Pumpkin seeds are, are good for them but pumpkin and pumpkin seed is an excellent treat for your chickens they will I have literally tossed a pumpkin out to my chickens and they have eaten it down to the rind like thin 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 rind so oftentimes you can reach out to your local community and say if anyone has any old pumpkins that have not been treated or sprayed with bleach or anything like that to keep it clean it's just a unused pumpkin ask if they would be willing to give it to you after Halloween to give to your chickens because they will love you for it the next treat that I'm going to suggest is if you have an excess of this, this is also an excellent treat that will really give your chickens a boost, and that is scrambled eggs. I actually, whenever we find ourselves in a huge excess of eggs, I will actually scramble up some eggs and feed them out to my chickens to help offset the cost of feed. It never lasts long when I toss it out to them. They just, they decimate it in seconds. Now, if you're a little worried about, oh my goodness, should I be feeding the eggs back to chickens? A lot of people think of eggs as the unborn 
child of chickens, but that is not the case. The eggs themselves, the yolk, is meant to be the source of nutrients for the embryo and the chick growing in the egg. So you do not have to worry, you are not feeding the chickens their unborn children. You are just feeding them the source of nutrition that would have been feeding their offspring had they been fertilized and grown. The next treat that I'm going to be talking about, we actually uh, were reached out to by Grub Terra, and that is going to be soldier fly larva. There are some serious homesteaders that r grow soldier fly larva for their chickens. I don't really have the facilities for that yet, maybe down the road I might, but in the meantime, Grub Terra actually sells dried soldier fly larva. Grub Terra is a social impact company that focuses on creating a sustainable feed source for livestock while also helping to reduce food waste. And I actually really loved that about this company is that while they are providing a source of healthy food or treats for not only chickens but also fish and reptiles is that they're doing it sustainably. For every one pound of grubs, they are reducing food wastes by up to 20 pounds. The bag that we got is a 16 ounce bag and it will basically feed uh, five chickens per month. I guess that really that really depends on how much you give them. So you would basically each day take a handful of the black soldier fly larva and feed it to your chickens. Why black soldier fly larva? Black soldier fly larva is actually 75% higher in calcium than mealworms, which is excellent for layer hens but another reason why you want to kind of uh, do it in moderation. So I will leave a link to their website down below so you can go get some black soldier fly larva for your chickens. And if you use the code OURORGANICLIFE at checkout, you'll get to enjoy 10% off. And they also offer free shipping. That was another cool thing that I like. The next treat that I'm going to talk about is yogurt. Now yogurt is packed full of nutrients, calcium, as well as probiotics. That's the biggest thing for me. Now the probiotics, of course, are gonna help populate your chicken's gut with beneficial bacteria and just give them an overall health boost. Now you can give them straight yogurt. I actually like to mix the yogurt in with their feed and they devour it. They enjoy it. Just make sure that it is unsweetened plain yogurt. That is the biggest thing. You do not want sugar in there. It's just not good for them. Leafy greens. Now my chickens personally, the second I let them out of the coop, they are quick to start chopping away at grass. If you have a garden, you can feed chickens pretty much any lettuce, spinach, cabbage, romaine, Swiss chard, they will love it. And it is packed full of B vitamins and nutrients that will really benefit them overall, including their feathers, and it'll also boost the quality of your eggs. I'm sure you're aware that chickens are omnivores, and what that means is that they require meat as well as vegetation to be healthy. So whenever you see those vegetarian fed chickens and eggs in the supermarket, it's not good for them. Of course, I mentioned the black soldier lar black soldier fly larva. That's a mouthful. Of course, I mentioned the black soldier fly larva, but there is some other. There is another animal protein that is an excellent source, um, excellent treat for chickens, and which you've probably heard of it, and that is mealworms. That is a good option as far as a treat for your chickens. Good animal protein, packed full of nutrients, and they love it. The last treat that I'm going to talk about is another animal protein that chickens will love and that is crickets. And I personally have never given my chickens crickets, but I kind of want to. And I feel bad laughing because I mean, they're chasing them. But if you set crickets loose in the chicken coop, the chickens will literally chase them down. And it, it's kind of funny to watch. I've seen videos of it. It's actually kind of hilarious. I'm gonna give you an extra little tip though before I close this out. At the beginning, I mentioned that black oil sunflower seeds are an excellent treat for your chicken. But if you want to take it an extra step further, you can sprout those sunflower seeds and feed, before you feed them to your chickens. Basically, all you do is you take and you soak the sunflower seeds overnight, and then you place them in a container, uh, spread out, and you mist them every day miss them every day, set them by a window. You'll notice them start to sprout once they have greenery and they've got those leaves sprouted, then you can take them and feed them to your chickens and they will love them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short video on 10 treats that you can feed your chickens, healthy treats that you can feed your chickens. If you have any other treats that you like to give your chickens or maybe something that I missed, leave a comment down below and be sure to go check out Grub Terra. What they're doing is amazing in my opinion. I love the sustainability of their business model. Like I said, 
said, be sure to use that code Our Organic Life to enjoy 10% off your first order and enjoy free shipping as well. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below again, and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notifications whenever we post. We are posting twice a week, every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard. So I hope to see you guys around.